There was a video, I think it was Erica Wheeler, put it out on her socials. Here is, here is the, the look, the real-time footage of Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever, now on the, the chartered flight as they're all the way up. Hey, gang. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? What up? Gang members. Gang members. That's gang members. Hey. We on the side of gang members. Hey. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 yo. We on the side of gang members. This is Nas, baby. Look at Lynn. <laughs> gang members. So the thing that stands out to me about that is that how happy they are, you know? And, and think about that. How happy you would be if you were flying coach and then you got to fly charter like that. And you are that's like, I don't want to say life-changing, but it's certainly professional life-changing. How much better that is for you physically, how much less stressful that must be. And obviously, you know, the, the idea of Caitlin Clark being in an airport is nuts, right? Now, this is going to lead to some backlash. I'll, I'll prepare you for that already because I believe only two teams are flying charter right now or if flew charter for these first games, that being the Indiana Fever and the Minnesota Lynx for my research. And here's the, here's the tough part about it. If it had just been the Indiana Fever, I think it would have been problematic and, and a bad look for the league. I was glad to see that the Lynx were involved too. And I understand there has to be logistics here, you know, to get it all, all the ducks in a row and, and have it run efficiently. I understand that. You know, you got to get everything cleared for takeoff before you do that. So uh, I'm going to be um, patient and, and the benefit of the doubt and everything like that. But you know for a fact, because I saw the, the New York Liberty, I think they're taking a bus to their game or something. Brianna Stewart was was tweeting about it. Um, and if you recall, the New York Liberty were, I believe, having their chart their flights chartered by the owner, Joe Sai. And then they got in trouble with the league because they weren't supposed to do that. He was doing it, you know, because he had the, the means to do it and thought it was the right thing to do, I suppose. This is what she said. Two out of five uh, WNBA teams traveling today are on WNBA charters, and that's a win. It could be a bigger one if the W allowed teams who were not offered league charters to secure their own. And to, okay, so that's what she's referencing there. Like, why aren't you letting us secure our own charter in the meantime like we did before if you're going to allow other teams to fly charter? Now, if it had just been Clark, that would have been – look, we know it's Clark. Clark is the reason that they're taking off like that. Clark – Air Caitlin, you know, I aye, Captain. Like, she's the reason, she's the impetus for this, no question. But it is still a league. There are still a lot of other talented women and, and players and teams, and they all deserve that perk. Again, they got to work it out. But the main thing is, these things are changing, right? I, I played you the, the Skims ad before. You see the ladies out front and center. They're out front and center. Asia Wilson, shoe deal, out front and center. Caitlin Clark, obviously, all these games are about to be televised out front and center. Now they're no longer going to be flying coach. It's only a matter of time before all the teams are on those chartered flights. I've, at the risk of repeating myself, the W is winning right now, and that W stands for wave. They're flying in the sky. No ceilings. Like the little Wayne mixtape. <laughs>